Hey guys, me Dave. It's uh, 123 2023. <laughs> so, January. Um, I'm not gonna. I'll mention this really quick, but I'm not gonna talk about it on my channel. Um, there's been a lot of mass shootings. Uh, there's been 38 um, in the last three weeks and the last two nights, today and yesterday, uh, by older men. Uh, one was 72 years old. You know, um, that's all I'm going to say about that. You know, um, leave that to your own conclusion. Um, you can speculate or whatever, you know, um, on what's going on. But uh, anyway, they're not stopping, you know. But uh, anyway, so I went to my, my chart um, at the hospital and I was looking at my test results and all that stuff. And, you know, I thought, I thought, the, I thought the walls of my heart were thickened. It's the walls of my esophagus that are thickened from all the heartburn. All the heartburn. The directed energy hits in my esophagus. They're thickened. So, um, they said that uh, that could be a serious problem. Um, and it's all caused by these guys, you know. Um, uh, when I went to the ER the last time, good thing I went. Good thing I went, you guys. Um, because uh, they said that... Uh, uh, my esophagus was inflamed and stuff. So I don't know if I'm supposed to go see the heart doctor or not. I, I thought it said on there, go make an appointment with the heart doctor. I can't find that right now on there. But I, I am assuming you have to go see some kind of specialist or something that, you know, that knows about that stuff. So I'm going to go see the heart doctor anyway. And um, I guess they put you on... Uh, they put you on some kind of steroids for 10 weeks and then see if it relapse, see if you relapse or whatever, you know, and stuff. But I've been noticing when I eat, um, it is hard for me to swallow sometimes. I almost choked. I had a peanut butter sandwich the other day, the other night, and um, it got stuck in my throat, you know. And I'm sitting there drinking water trying to get it down, you know, and all stuff. I don't know if that's the cause of this or what, but they are... The perps are causing a, a legitimate health problem, um, giving me so much uh, acid reflex and all that stuff, and it's really causing a problem. So it's, um, you know, uh, what do you do? What do you do? I mean, do you tell them you're being hit with weapons and they're they're causing this? Um, they're probably not going to believe you and have you talk to a psych nurse or something. You know, but it is them uh, doing this. I don't have heartburn. I don't have acid reflex. I don't have any of these problems, um, you know, and all this stuff. But they are causing real, they're causing real medical issues, um, you know, and that's what they're doing. Um, so we, we, you know, I mean, I'm saying it again, you guys. You know, if you're in need of medical help, go get medical help. They could actually find a problem. They can actually cause a real illness with these weapons. Don't sit there and be a punching bag and fight. You know, go to the hospital. Go to, If you think you need to go to the hospital, go to the hospital. They might really find a problem. Your blood might be off. You're, you might have high blood pressure. You might have high blood sugar. You might have... They can cause all kinds of problems with our health. They're screwing our whole system up, you guys. They're screwing our whole system up. Uh, you know, the chemicals in our brain are not normal. They're, they're screwing our whole system up. And all that stuff, you know, go get checked out. Don't don't try to be a hero and, and take sit there and take a beating. Um, if you have insurance and all that stuff, go get checked out because uh, they could really be doing damage to your body. And you think you're just sitting there fighting it, and they're really they really are killing you. Um, uh, don't let them kill you. Um, go there and get medical help if you need it. You know, seriously, I'm glad I went in. I'm glad I called 911 and went in, and um, they found this problem from the CAT scan. Otherwise, if they wouldn't have done a CAT scan, you guys, they wouldn't have found this problem, and they would have kept on doing it to me and all this stuff. And, and you know, they could cause death. I mean, really, you could drop dead. You know, I mean, you could really drop dead from, from this stuff. And, and and their their tracks are covered. Um, I think if they kill us, they'll kill them. That's what I think. I, I think if they kill us, 
they'll kill them. That's that's pretty much what I think. Um, but these guys aren't doctors. They're not. They're not nurses. They're not in the. You know, they're not. Uh, you know, anything. Uh, the guys doing this to me, anyway. They're not. They're nothing but uh, potheads and, and and meth heads and everything else. They sit there and smoke weed all day long and drink all day long and all this stuff. They're not doctors. You know, doing this to me. Uh, they're just operators, and all they do, uh, all they have to do, is hit a button and cause all these problems for you. And it really is doing damage to your heart. And as we get older, that you know, we gotta, we gotta go get medical help and treat it if it's treatable. You know, right now it's an unexplained health attack. Um, it's an unexplained health attack that they're doing to us. And and uh, when you run to the doctor uh, ten times in a row. Uh, complain about some, you know, the same things all the time, you know. Somebody's going to start asking questions or they're not going to be a part of it or they're going to make them stop, you know, because they are causing really, they're doing re real damage to your body, you guys. It's nothing to play around with, especially when, you're, when you get older and stuff. If you're in your 40s or 50s or, you know, whatever, you got to go get medical help. So another thing I want to talk about is um, I seen an interview, um, or there was a, I listened to an interview um, a while back. Um, there was this guy, uh, complain, he claimed to be, he was an older guy, c claimed to be um, in the MK Ultra program his whole life. Um, he had a, I don't know what you want to call it, a ghostwriter or whatever. He wrote a book and stuff about his life and stuff. And um, they were talking about the clone now, if you read Dr. Duncan's book, uh, the clone member um, they use to heterodyne you, um, they usually use guys that are have similar uh, brain waves to yours, so they can heterodyne you easier. Okay, so um, uh, they can make you do things. Like I said, they they'll use a plastic knife. The clone member will use a plastic knife and get you to use a real knife and cut yourself. They will um, do things to make you try to run off the road. You know, they will do all... They can make your your arms jerk, your limbs jerk, and all this stuff. Um, they can do all that stuff by heterodyning you with the clone member. Now, what, what I found interesting was is that they were talking about the clone member um, being used as a patsy being used as a patsy okay now they were saying that we oh yeah we uh, from our research and everything else they were kind of talking about what dr duncan talks about but they were talking about uh using the clone member as a patsy um which means they're gonna make that clone member go out there and do something stupid you know and maybe set him up maybe set him up to go to prison uh, for the rest of his life or, or set him up somehow and they will use that clone member as a patsy To do something bad, you know, so I found that very interesting. I don't know if that's true or not. It could be um, You know these guys um, some of these guys in the beginning they think they're rock stars and they get free drugs and free alcohol and free women and everything else They think they're damn rock star really um, you guys um, I think that does end after a while, um, I think these guys, um, some of them are not treated very well. Um, I've heard some of these guys have been kidnapped before and, uh, you know, kidnapped for like a week. Um, you know, remember you guys, um, these, they can do anything they want with these people. They can do anything they want with these people. Uh, nobody's going to miss these people. Um, who are these people going to go to? They're not going to go to the police. They can't go to the police. Uh, they can't go to anybody for help. Nobody's going to help these people. They are sitting ducks, um, and they can do whatever they want with these people. They can do whatever they want with these people. Um, you know, uh, you know. I'm not going to go into further detail, but they can do anything they want with these people, like dispose of them if they want to. You know, so remember that, perps. Um, they can do anything they want with you. Oh no, I'm protected. Oh, they're not going to do anything, nothing to me. Nah, you just keep on thinking that way. Anyway, so that's what I'm talking about tonight. Um, so I just thought I'd do a little video, talk about that a little bit. Um, so anyway, um, you know, it, they can cause real medical issues. Um, go to the hospital, go get help. Um, 
you know, they don't want you to get help because it'll have to stop. Um, it will stop if you go get medical help. Um, there's hitting, the, the heartburn stopped for me, but they're hitting me in different ways. Um, I got gang stock today. I went over to Wisconsin to buy tobacco and I came back and, and got gas. I was using my relative's truck and I got gas and there was a perp there, a perp there waiting for me. He was waiting in the car for me and, um, he got all, oh, he acted all angry, and they, and they were hitting me at the same time, saying bad things about him, you know, and, and, and he was acting all angry and all this stuff, and I was getting ready to leave, and, oh, he, he sat there and slammed his hood down, picked it up, slammed it down again, picked the hood up, slammed it down again, trying to be all intimidating, um, and all this stuff, he was just a little grubby bastard. Um, trying to be intimidating, and there was another guy there on the pump next to him, talking on the phone all the all, you know, the whole time. Now, they they want to what they want to do is they want to provoke you. Um, they want to provoke you to fight. Uh, they really do. Now, in my program, um, because I in the beginning I was like, come on, you son of a bitches come out and fight, you know, and all this stuff, I was pissed off, you know, and, um, you know, and they had a guy out here calling me out, and all this stuff, and they had two cop cars sitting on the main road, just in case I went out there, they're not here to protect the perps, you guys, they're here to protect me, make sure I don't get hurt, that's what they're here for. Now, they were doing the same thing at the gas station today. Now, this guy talking on the phone was probably someone in the program. He was an older guy, and he was probably someone in the program just in case they don't trust these perps, first of all, and these perps think they can actually touch you and hurt you and all this stuff. There's always someone around. Um, if they touch you or try to touch you or you actually really do get into it with these people, which they will call the cops on you and you'll get in trouble, you know. Don't even mess around. Let them call you a pussy and a wussy and everything else. Don't mess around with these people because they will call the cops on you and turn it around on you, you guys. They always will, just like Romola D. Ro Romola D fought back and she bitched at that lady like nothing. What did the lady do? She went in her house, called the cops, and they took her to the psych ward. They will always call the cops on you. You know, I've been threatened many times. You know, oh, you're talking back to me. I'm going to call the cops. Go ahead, call them. You know, and stuff. So, you know, the cops ain't going to keep on playing this game. Uh, the agencies aren't going to keep on playing this game. These people think they can do whatever they want. They can't. But they think they're powerful, and they're overstepping their boundaries, and they're telling, we know what they're doing, they're telling people they're FBI. Oh, I'm the FBI, uh, uh, you know, don't fill his medication, this is the FBI, don't fill his medication, and all this stuff. So we can torture him for another six months. Well, that didn't happen. I went to the hospital, and I'm glad I did, because they wouldn't have found this problem if I wouldn't have gone. So, don't let them manipulate you. If they don't want you to call for help... Or they don't want you going to the hospital, you guys. That means you should go to the hospital. You should go to the hospital and get medical attention. They don't want you to go. They want to keep on torturing you. If you go, it might stop. You might get a break, you guys. I'm telling you. That's the way it works in these programs. You know? not Maybe not Brian, too. Brian Tugel, he goes to get medical help, and he, he's a hard target. He's a big target and all this stuff, and, um, you know, he they have it all for him, and, and they're out to get him big time. But other targets, I'm saying, um, you know, usually if you go get medical help, it stops for a while. You know, it'll stop for a while, and they'll do something else, but... You know, you don't sit there and fight back and, and shield and shield and shield and, you know, they're going to find, they're going to, they're going to take that as you're fighting back and they're going to hit you harder and that's the way it is, you know. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off and uh, you guys have a good Monday night and I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.